So uh, we've imported our stuff. Uh, we've got a reference track locked on our timeline here, and we've got our OMF edit, uh, audio edit here, and a series of tracks below it. And uh, it's time to get things a bit organized. The first thing I want to do is uh, we got video reference. I could, if I wanted to, I could change that name, but that's that's a great name. Um, let's go ahead and change this to GT Guide Track. Um, that way, I know um, what this is. Uh, you know, being organized is extremely important. And trust me, this you know, as we begin working on this stuff, things are going to get messy if we don't stay organized. We could have 20 different tracks doing audio. Um, that's a lot to keep track of. And, um, you know, we might get ourselves confused. We might get lost in what we're doing. Uh, but in order to learn the, the right way to do this and staying organized and putting things in the right place and working in the right way, we need to set up our, um, our tracks uh, for a, a, a nice clean process. So naming them and, and organizing them in, in a particular way is, is what I want to talk about next. So here I've renamed this guide track. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here so that I can kind of collapse these things and I can sh we can see more tracks. What I did was is I put my mouse over this track header. This is the header. This is the timeline. So And then I just use my little scroll wheel up and down to kind of shrink and expand these things. Um, but of course, I can still rename them. Now, the first thing I want to do is, you know, what we're going to be working with first and foremost is dialogue tracks. Okay, so I'm going to name a ser the, a sequence of tracks uh, for dialogue. So, you know, you abbreviate it dial. Is that a capital I? I think it is. Dial and use letters. Okay, dial A, and we'll call this. Dial B, dial C, dial D, dial E. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep on going here because I really don't know what's on these tracks, but I know I'm going to need uh, at least at least eight dialogue tracks to start off with. Uh, four tracks. You know, is usually enough uh, for just the dialogue, but if we're doing uh, like a short film, an entire film that has more than one scene, when we, you know, we might use A, B, and A, B, C, D for the first scene, but when we move into the second scene, and we're going to label what's, you know, where the scenes are, when we move in the second scene, we're going to want to drop down to the E, F, G, H um, tracks, and not sort of butt into. Uh, the previous scene on the first four tracks. It's just an easier way to work. I can grab and move things around a lot easier if I need to. Um, it's just the right way to do it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and you know keep on nail, uh, naming these. And uh, just just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and add one more track. Add mono audio track. And of course, it put it above, so I'm going to drag it down. That was real easy to do. Okay, so there I go. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dialogue tracks. I used letters because um, I want all my meaningful tracks, whether dialogue, sound effects, background noise, Anything that is something that is going to be part of my mix, and we'll talk about mixing and submixes later, uh, I'm going to use letters. I know that those are the tracks I want to be um, uh, put adding into the mix. I'm going to next create some junk tracks, or create some other tracks, not just junk tracks, but some other tracks um, to uh, that are, I'm going to use, and I'm going to use numbers, because these tracks I don't want my mix, but they are going to be useful when we start editing. Our audio. So I'm going to add, um, well, it's just putting them in stupid places. Add, add, and I'm just going to create little four quick ones here. I'm going to grab my dialogue track and drag this up again. Come on now. Boop. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a work track, and I'm going to call this work one. I'm going to create a second work track. 
work two. I'm going to create some junk tracks. Junk one. Junk two. Okay, what are these tracks for? Uh, well, these work tracks are for when I want to um, start adding in some audio. Now, let's say I got a sound effect that I want to add to my to my project. Well, you know, I can go and and uh, you know, just for, you know, I can double click on something. And say this is my sound effect, and I can go and I can trim this thing. This is not really trimming it. That's just scaling it in. But let's just say I go in here and out here. Okay, I've set an in and an out point. This is my audio. I want to jump back into my multi-track here, and I'm going to grab this thing. If I was to grab this and put it here, let's just say I want to put it right here and let go. Well, it was smart enough to not send this thing all the way through the, the next clip. But you know, as I'm working with things, it's always just better to bring it to a you know a you know a work track first. Okay, bring it to a work track. That way, I can move things around, set things up, and when I like what I got, I can move it into one of my you know um, tracks, like dialogue tracks that I, I want to work with. Now, I said if this is a sound effect, we don't want to put this in a dialogue track. We want to put a sound effect on a sound effect track. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And uh, sound effects are probably going to be in stereo, sometimes mono, but you know, let's just say we're going to create a stereo track here. And um, it's not listening to me. Wow, why did it do that? Okay, there it goes. All right, and we'll call this SFX A. You know, we might have SFX B. We might have, let's go ahead and just create one of those. Uh, let's create uh, stereo track. And we'll, uh, let's call this um, let's call this ambience A. So any, if we we're gonna, this is not room tone. This is ambience. If we want to create, like, let's say we're in a restaurant. Well, when we shot this thing, there sure as hell shouldn't be any noise like a restaurant while we're recording the dialogue. But when we go and get into this phase, we want to add that back in. That's an ambient sound, the sound of forks and knives and people chattering and the, you know, the mumbling and, you know, the walla walla, as they call it. I didn't make that up. Trust me. That's what it's called. You'll sound like a professional if you say that. Anyway, ambience. Um, and, um, you know, uh, you know, let's just, you know, let's call it, let's call it a day right there. Uh, well, no, let's add one more. And let's... Should we make it a mono track? Let's go ahead and make it a mono track because what I want to, what we're going to put in here, is how about ADR A. Now probably where I'd put ADR is, you know, of course you can move these around as, as needed, okay? But I might put my ADR tracks here, and you know probably about four tracks of ADR, sometimes as much as eight. It depends on how much ADR work you're going to need to do in your project. Hopefully, not a lot, okay? But if you need to, obviously it's going to have to go somewhere. Um, you know, I usually, as I'm working on stuff, when I'm done with the dialogue, I move on to ADR, I'll bring those up, you know, and bring them right above my work tracks because I'm going to be working, you know, I'll bring things in in my work tracks. You know, get everything sort of worked out, and then I'll move them into my ADR track. Um, also, you know, can't forget how about how about some Foley, okay? Foley, a okay. Foley tracks. Why are we creating all these separate tracks for these different sound elements? Well, when we get to mixing, it's going to be real important that we organize things this way. Um, we want to be able to uh, mix things independently, the dialogue independent of, you know, the ADR, okay? Because the ADR is going to be recorded at a different level probably. So we want to control the ADR, although ADR and dialogue should be, you know, kind of one and the same in terms of how we mix it. Um, sound effects, Foley, ambience, all those things we want to mix independently, louder, softer, panning left and right, time, things like that. So 
there we go. I've got my project fairly well um, organized here. This, this looks great. I really like this. And um, next up, we're going to make sure that our tracks, our OMF import is in sync.